we live in a different dimension. In your mind, the dimension is different from your physical being. So what I mean by that is, in your mind, you can truly be limitless. I can know it's something that you could scream, <laughs> yell, pivoting, you're jumping, you're kicking. In Taekwondo, I realized that I can kick and punch somebody and not get in trouble for it. It teaches you discipline, gives you confidence. And the five tenets of Taekwondo are courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and dominable spirit. The earliest times I actually remember Taekwondo is I must have been three, four years old. I started Taekwondo when I was eight years old. I started when I was four or five. Just watching my older brother, Gene, who first started Taekwondo, and I would be sitting on the sides and just watching him kick and, and punch. I remember uh, Steven taking his first class and, and thinking to myself, oh, this is my opportunity to show the ropes to him. Dinah and I, we didn't really have a choice. We are thrown in there, but you know, thank God my parents and my brothers, you know, Put us in there. Eventually when I got to be four or five years old, I took up Taekwondo and just followed my brother's footsteps. I remember from a very young age, my mother always telling me, you know, be the best in whatever it is that you choose to do. My brother Gene, he was the closest male to become um, the first world champion and for the United States. Um, he got a silver medal in 95 and in 2000 his weight uh, division wasn't chosen for the Olympic Games and Steven had the opportunity of making the Olympic team. One of my proudest moments was when uh, Steven made the Olympic team for the first time. I had asked Steven many questions about the whole Olympic experience and finally when I finally made the Olympic team in 2008 I got to experience it for myself alongside my brothers. Another special moment was when the whole family made the Olympic team in 2008. The first time I had the opportunity to wear Ralph Lauren at the opening ceremonies was in 2008. I thought by far the U.S. Olympic team looked the best, the most fashionable. I looked good, or we looked good. Just knowing that my parents were in the stands watching us, you know, I know they're very proud of us and this is our way of giving back to them. Seeing my brothers and sister right next to me, it was a speechless moment. We're such a close family that everything that we did, we, we, we did together, and we still, we're still like that today. The Olympics is the Nobel Peace Prize of, of sports, and so to see uh, showcased in London is something that I'm really looking forward to. You know, I've won a gold medal in 2000, a gold medal in 2004. In 2008, I feel a little short. And I took the bronze. So this time around, it's a little sense of redemption. Um, so it is a huge motivating factor to go back in 2012 and, and get back my gold medal. I, I want to have that perfect day, that perfect performance, and I still haven't had that. And so maybe I may never have the perfect performance, but I want to aspire to, to reach for it. For me, I guess the biggest challenge is actually believing in myself and actually knowing that I can get the gold medal. You know, we just have to believe it and just go out there and rock and roll. I really do feel that that the chances of, of success and things turning out the way that you want them to turn out comes from the desire to, to really be yes. the best on that day. Although I didn't make the Olympic team, I'll still be traveling with them to London, but this time in, in a different position. Them winning Olympic gold is them winning Olympic gold for me as well.